recently made um, two giant pans of banana pudding for a friend of ours. And um, it requires a lot of egg yolks and no egg whites. So I end up with like 16 egg whites left over. And I try to find fun and creative ways to use them. Um, so today I'm going to make um, forgotten cookies. They're like a meringue but with chocolate chips. And you get to put them in the oven and leave them overnight. So I'm going to start with a half a cup or four egg whites in my bowl. And I'm going to turn that on until they're frothy. They've built up a froth. Now we're going to start adding our sugar. It's a one and a third cups of sugar. right before we get to the stiff peak stage, which we're very close to. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of salt. Stir that in and then we're gonna increase the speed again and get it all the way to stiff peaks. Okay, so if I can pull the whisk out, and it keeps its shape, that's a stiff peak. So they are good to go. Those are egg whites. Now the last thing I have is a 12 ounce bag of mini chocolate chips. And I'm just going to pour them in. Stir it around. And then I'm going to take my cookie scoop and I'm going to scoop out onto my parchment lined cookie sheet. And you can put these fairly close together. They don't rise at all when they're baking. Move this a little closer. Now I've seen variations of these. You can put nuts in them. Apparently people like that a lot. I'm not a fan of nuts in my food, so I do not. All right, I have about 60 cookies. It's like 59 really, anyway. We're going to put them in an oven. It's been preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to put them in the oven and turn the oven off. And we are not going to open it again until tomorrow morning. That's why they're called forgotten cookies, because you can forget about them and they will be done in the morning. So our cookies were in our oven overnight and now they're ready and they are perfectly beautiful little meringue cookies with chocolate chips in the middle. Now just so you know, they only need to be in the oven for about four hours. I leave them overnight because it's easier on me to just throw them in there at the end of the night. I would suggest, however, that if you do that, you put a note on it that lets somebody know there are cookies in the oven so somebody else in your house doesn't come in and turn the oven on to preheat it for some reason and then recook your already cooked cookies. 